Alright, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to the beginning of the Lantoon tutorial. Uh, in the end, this is what we're going to be creating. Uh, this is actually the final image that was rendered. Um, it had a little bit of Photoshop work in it as well. But overall, it was a huge success. We have everything from the textures, uh, the lighting setup, um, all the modeling of the geometry. This is basically like an interior architectural room but it's like a hero shot of this lantern in general. We have some you know, paper over here writing, pictures in the background. Um, it's pretty much all covered, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's about two hours long, I want to say, so not terribly long. Um, have fun, and let's begin. All right, welcome to the first part of a new tutorial about how to create a lantern. It's actually a Korean design. I thought it was pretty cool. It just go over some different concepts from the hard surface modeling of the actual uh, lantern to the texturing of the kind of see-through paper. And we'll see if we can get kind of the designs in here as well. That'll be interesting because I don't know how to do that right now. And uh, at the end, we'll try to just do a little scene, you know, kind of something like this, but you know, without the remotes and whatnot. We'll just have maybe a table, some walls, and see if we can get the lighting just right. So let's hop right in. So let me just bring this over to the other side. Um, to begin, I think we're just going to start off with a mm, a box. Boxes are always good place to start in the front. So let's make one. J will get rid of the uh, boxes, and F4 will turn on the edge view, so you can see exactly what you're doing. And what I'm going to do is just try to get it generally the right shape. So let's increase the height a bit because it's a pretty long lantern. And I just have this on a different monitor, but what you can do is just shrink it down and uh, place it on the same one just over here so you can see what you're doing. Um, so this looks about right, I'd say. If not, we can always adjust it later. So let's uh, just even things out. We'll say the length is going to be 230 and the width is going to be 140. And as for the height, well, we want this about the same thickness all the way around. So the height's going to be about, call it, let's call it 12 for now. That's pretty good. So 230, 140, and 12. And 111 for all the segments here. And this will just be our main. Um, uh, reference, I guess, is what we can call it, just so we can see the basic size of it all. So now let's make a new box and just start making some basic pieces. Because this is a different kind of modeling. I'm basically building it the way that it's shown. So it's as if I'm creating it out of wood. So length is going to be 230 again. Uh, width, let's try to make this, I think, in 20. It's a pretty good width. And the height is, what did I say? I think it was 12, but I can't remember. Uh, yes, 12. So a height of 12. Alright. And let's just kind of match that up right there. And we can move this one back just so we can see what we're doing. So this is going to be this side piece right here. Alright, uh, next, let's just copy it over, I guess, F to go into the front view, G will get rid of the grid, and let's just copy it. I'll do the detailing later, I just want to get the basic thing together. Um, and these are about the same thickness. So let's press E, A turns on angle snap, and shift to rotate it in increments of 5, and just copy it. Now let's uh, put this over here. Just line it up like that and convert it to an editable poly. I've made it a uh, shortcut key, control alt Q, but if you don't want to do that, just right click anywhere on this little box and hit editable poly. Or you can go in the quad menu and uh, convert to editable poly. There it is. So press 1 to go into vertex sub-object mode. And just shrink these so they're, uh, Z will zoom into what you selected. 
So, the, so there's a little bit of gap remaining. And that gap is going to be pretty critical when we're actually building it because nothing is um, perfectly straight together. Let's just select all these and bring it down just a smidge. Just trying to get the bottom lined up. All right, and then for the top, we're going to uh, drag this up here. Copy. Shift drag is what copies, by the way. Okay. So select these bottom verts here and just make these a bit longer up here. This is where the design is going to go. Okay. Next. <clears throat> we're going to select this edge here and copy it over. Make the width, let's see, oops, sorry, not the width, the uh, controls you to undo. The height, maybe about five, no, three, let's make it 2.5. All right, convert that to an editable poly and go into vertex mode and just get it so it just about touches. Okay, and then do the same on the bottom here. Okay, let me actually make these ones a bit closer. All right. Now what we're going to do is kind of position this, so it'll be about, well, probably here, and then make another one about the same distance over, and let's actually increase it a bit. And we'll drag this one over, okay, and this one is going to be a bit shorter, actually a lot shorter, so probably... I'm just eyeballing it here, but maybe around here. And then what you're going to do is just copy and drag that one down. Now sometimes you get this little problem where your coordinate will be way far away from your, your object. What you can do is just go to uh, Reset X Form, Reset Selected. I like to do that first. And then Effect Pivot Only and Centered Object. That way your little things will move back and just drag this down all right next let's uh, select all three of these by control selecting and shift drag press mirror and make sure you're on the X axis and then drag it to about the same space over So now we kind of have the basic shape being laid out here, and we can delete this. So next, let's go back into the front view by pressing F. Select one of these. Actually, let's select the bottom one. And shift rotate, again, with angle snap on by pressing A. Um, and let's make some of these vertices go to the end. Same on the other side. Okay, and select them all and bring them down so that you get a bit of a rectangle. So, right here is taller than it is longer. Just a little bit. Alright, next we're going to select these ones again and rotate them by 90. Oops, wrong one. There it is. Okay, and we'll bring it up about the same amount if you can. Make it go toward the edge. So, right about there. And then bring this in so that it has about equal lengths coming out. Okay, and then shift drag it to the other side. There we go. And now we just have to select these four. 
Open them up, copy, mirror, and this time you're going to want to do it on the Y axis. And then just position them. See right about there is good. Alright, now we have the uh, basic form for the inside of our thing here. We might actually end up making some of these a little thinner. But that'll be it for part one. I'll see you in part two where we'll finish this off and uh, make the sides.